Tel Aviv. I'm Nurtana Karagil. I'm based in Famagusta. It's been like 10 years that I'm living there. I'm a visual artist, mostly works with uh, images and drawings and paintings. Um, usually I react to the situations that I'm in and with a collective memory of the understanding of the human rights ecology. Um, so I think that makes me directly a political artist in this island because we have uh, limited spaces around us through borders, through occupation, through um, this tough um, emotions, displacement, becoming a refugee. So when you react to the situation and where you live and how you want to live, it makes direct approach um, being political. But as a person, I can say that I'm, a, you know, I like pink. <laughs> I like to feed my cats in the neighborhood. I'm a teacher also. So it's my kind of a relax, like I don't have this energy of anarchism that's in a common sense. But what I do is kind of a connect to there somehow in this geography. I can say the soul of this exhibition is kind of a similar about looking to the places that we live, observing, understanding, um, asking questions, remembering the memories or the identities. So I think it's in a similar page of what I do and what they think. So we connect easily. Okay, I will not going to lie about this because the first thing that I thought is the Eurovision contest. And I think like they are aware of this, that this is a common name. But for me, it's interesting because I cannot even vote for a Eurovision because the phone numbers does not accept it from where I live. So all this my childhood, I watched this Eurovision and the country is giving votes for them and like cannot able to vote. But that's another funny story after understanding why they put this name and what they were thinking behind it. And this exhibition is kind of a traveling between countries and every time you um, connect with other creators and okay, the space is important, the artwork is important, but when if you don't create the common ground with the thinkers and the creators and the weavers, the, it will be just uh, another piece in a white wall in a gallery. So I think what they're trying to do with this name and like how they rethink about what is Europe is actually, is really powerful. Okay. I know that it doesn't look like an um, amazing artwork with the oil painting, but it's actually like a 10, work, 10 years of work, work here. It started when I went to MA in Brighton. So you can see some of the images from the feeling that I was in UK, which I first understand how Cyprus is because to understand Cyprus, you need to be a, go a bit far away from it because nobody is actually telling you truth when you are inside and you always um, grow up with this common um, fake history in both sides. So to understand what happened really, I think it was uh, interesting to go to the colonial country, you know, the UK and understand what happened and my grandmother was living there and then you understand why my grandmother is living there and it wasn't her choice actually and things like that. So it starts from that era. And then you have the daily photos that me coming back to Cyprus and it's been like 10 years that I'm here. So it's like a random coincidence in the street with the garbage, with the strikes, animals. And it's these images that disturb me somehow, like fires, trees and ecology and the, I don't know, cats and garbage again and pollution and everything. It somehow connects to our emotions in this island of that um, getting lost and like staying the stable at the same space. but. It's actually you ruin yourself by being stable. Um, so there's those kind of a photo up, and there's also um, typographical works, which is text based. And I think it's, I can say it's my first time that sharing Cypriot Turkish dialect as an artwork, and then not feeling enough, and also explaining with a dictionary, which I used AI to what I mean in this sentence. So they were translating to me back what I'm trying to say, so there's those, um, which this text is coming from the daily political events or like happenings and what you feel after elections or after that your government didn't support something that you like or I don't know, this kind of a limitation. I think this is happening everywhere because it's the same system mostly. Sometimes it's much more relaxed so you find your places much more easily. Sometimes it's more direct so you need to shot more. but. At the essence of it, I can say it's like uh, everyday life politics that hurting us and 
you want to be this um, girl that you study art and see in Europe. It's kind of a conversation between these two characters, the Cypriot one and the European one. It's getting conflict all the time because you also know that Europe is not the best, you know, so sometimes you need to find your uh, balance, the good things from here, good, the good things from there, and combine them and have this, you know, lovely life that you want to reach to the future somehow. Because it's a small society, everybody expects Cyprus to become this happy island with uh, every community living happily inside. But what happens because it's a small conflict area, everybody has its own group and people are not actually interacting with each other in a public spaces. I think this exhibition gives us this benefit of seeing everything together from different regions, um, from different backgrounds, and it doesn't about where you're coming from. It's actually the story of the human being, this fairness is kind of the same, like it's kind of a copy-paste system everywhere. It's maybe in another language, it could be maybe another generation, it could be another building that get lost or memory or like the humans but um, at the end of it we all connect from the same spot and I think it's a great example to see this exhibition in a one space um, with these different feelings of people trying to reach the and saying the same thing and opening that conversation and I think Cypriots needs to do this a bit more so in that sense, I find this um, technique is really powerful of this exhibition. But also, of course, like it's the curatorial meeting and you see the power of um, being a creator in an exhibition and how you deal with the heavy topics and how you choose your artists and how you comfort them around it and giving this safe space because, yes, artists create, but if there is not an another community around you that supports you, you can also self-censor yourself a lot. So I think it's really important that this group is giving that safe space for us and also feeding itself while it's doing it and traveling again and again and opening its borders, so it's nice. Most of the people are actually asking about the cockroaches, if it's coming from Kafka's attraction, but it's actually not, it's really Cypriot. Um, I find really similar behavior seeing a cockroach as a Cypriot and how acting and how we are acting to the political situations because we know that cockroaches are here, like we see them every summer and they are living with us, but every time that we saw one, we are like, ah! So <laughs> I think this um, feeling of um, remember, like remind me a lot of how we behave, actually the situations that we are in in Cyprus, because we know it's happening, but every time that it happens to us, we get shocked again and like start again from there. So the cockroaches is the representative of us actually, like reacting to the situations and I colored them because why not to act to the situations much more fun way, you know.